Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on A. I've got a couple of relatively new guns. Two versions of the TX. Let's compare them. First of all, they come out with this guy. The TX-22. Taurus come out with this and it became very popular. They came out with it just about the same time as Glock came out with their 22 caliber bug inside the eyeglasses. There we go. Get out of it to beat it, buddy. Go get a room. Well, we're all disheveled now. Let's see if we can get back to where we were. Oh, they came out with this guy just about the time <laughs> Glock came out with their version of a Glock 22. Um, so it was a foot race there for a while. Which one was going to get the market? Which one of them was going to do the best? Uh, at the price point the Taurus is at, it was the clear winner for everybody except Glockophiles. Okay? Everybody went out and bought these things because they're cheap. They're easy to operate. You know, they're easy gun to shoot. They're accurate. They're reliable. They shoot everything you put in them practically. They run good with auto match. They run good with stingers. You know, uh, they shoot Ely. You know, they shoot everything. You just, they're just a good, they, they got really got it right when they come up with this guy. Um, uh, and everybody was very pleased with them. You know, the, the magazines had a lot of ammunition. Uh, I think this one holds 16, but they've got ones and you can get a magazine. You can get like a piece grip to go on the bottom of it or an extension, an extension of some kind to go on it. And I've just been handed a extension that holds, I don't know how much I'm 25 rounds of ammunition. <laughs> Good looking out, dog. <laughs> a big black cloud coming. We got to get down with the program here. So this one holds 25. Uh, this one holds, I think, 13, 13 12, 13, something like that. Uh, everybody shot these guns. There must be 10,000 videos about this gun on YouTube. Then, very recently, they came out with a, they call it a compact. Well, it's been lightened up a little bit. You know, it's got some cuts on it or places that make it a little bit lighter to shoot and pack. Um, and it's just as good as the full-size TX, but a little bit more fun to shoot in some ways. And the thing about it is, there's a lot of people out there today who are like me. They have... Dubleton's contracture in their fingers. They have snap joints. You know, they have cartilage problems. They have arthritis in their hands. They've had a thumb or a finger or two rebuilt. You know, and shooting a 1911 all the time just ain't that much fun. You know, shooting these guys, on the other hand, is a fair amount of entertainment. They're fun to shoot. If you get them to shoot, come on, shoot, will you? There we go. You know, they're fun to shoot. And you can hit stuff with it. You know, they're okay. The full-size gun, it's got the same thing going for it. You know, they're fun to shoot. They're good recreational shooters. And with a lot of magazine capacity, they become a good a good defensive rim fire, you know. I'm just wiring steel bob out down there at uh, 25 yards. I mean, it ain't swinging real hard because I ain't got enough bullet mass to push it very hard. But it's a hitting it every time at 25 yards. It's a fair dinkum defensive handgun. And a real pleasure to shoot, buddy. A real slick pleasure to shoot. Um, 
price point on these guys is, well, we don't say the prices anymore, but, you know, and both of them are about in the same realm in terms of value and so forth. Um, would I buy the Glock? No, I'm not a Glock in spiel. You know, I don't have anything against Glocks. I just never got the bug. You know, there's a feller standing right there. I think he's got 271,463 Glocks, and he goes home and pets them all every night. And, and I got a Taurus. And, and <laughs> he got a Taurus. You know, but overall, as a defensive handgun, these guys are not too awful bad. As a as a uh, plinking gun, they're perfect. As a woods loafing gun, trap line gun, bicycle gun, they're absolutely perfect. And these guys, of course, you can take this magazine and put it in that gun. You know, there's no problem with that. You take that 25 rounder and stick it in that little guy. Um, I plan to get a TX this year. I'll just have to budget it around, and then we'll know more about it when, when we get it. Uh, personally, they're worth the money. They're a lot of fun to shoot. Big thunderstorm coming. I'm trying to get it all in before it's too late. Uh, and you can get one of those little things. And another thing is these guys are... There, you can you can put this on them. You know they're capable of receiving this. You know, so you can you can you, <laughs> you know, and a pilot or a G2 or something like that goes on there really nice. You know, so if you're out in the backyard and you want to dispatch something or you're trying to clean out the barn. You know, of little vermin's back there, and you don't want to alarm the whole county. You know, you can get with it, and I'm like, you know, something else is fixing to get with it, so. Like, date, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me no dollar in the Patreon bucket. <coughs> if you don't, I'll uh, keep right on making content for you. Trying to run it up to eight minutes so it can be monetized is what I'm trying to do. I think we're going to have to shoot out the rest of these magazines and go hide somewhere. I don't believe in manually unloading guns. Well, I guess I'm out of ammunition. Better get rid of this thing. Here, put this somewhere, will you? <laughs> hey, there's a big thunderstorm coming, and we're going to get out here and leave you alone. God bless everyone. God bless America. Uh, keep a cool head on your shoulders. Remember, we're the gun people. We're the smart money and the cool head in the room. God love you all, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now.